I can assure you that being Mexican was not advantageous for me then, and it is certainly not advantageous for me now, contrary to what Mr. Romney believes. My mother worked very hard so that we could benefit from the American dream. When she became a single mother, she struggled to keep us afloat and made sure we lived in a clean, safe environment. She made sure we were clothed and fed. She also instilled in us the importance of an education. I grew up, I grew up and luckily with the help of a friend's mother, was able to enroll at the University of South Florida. I didn't expect to take a life detour of eight years to finish my degree, but I did. This August, I received my bachelor's in international studies and a minor in political science. I did this as a single mother of two children. I was married prior, but as life would happen, I still ended up a single mother. I am raising my daughters on a single income and am unemployed. I have been actively seeking employment since I graduated. I am uninsured and so is my youngest daughter. <clears throat> I am staying afloat by doing temporary work here and there. I would hate to think what would happen if I fell ill at this time or if any of my children did. I rely, I rely on government food assistance because the private sector simply does not hand out free food. I don't think I am entitled to anything. I have worked and paid taxes, and now I am receiving assistance from the taxes I paid into. I don't know how I would manage today, today without it. It would mean deciding on whether we eat or pay utilities if I did not receive this assistance. I rely on the health department for medical care and women wellness checkups and screenings. I can't imagine these services not being available for me. This election, it is vital that women get out and vote. Vote for policies and policymakers that will continue to support social services such as food assistance and Medicaid. Already there have been cuts to funding and services available. Not only are jobs important to a thriving economy, but a healthy population of workers is needed in an economy. That's why it's so important for women to pay attention to what is at stake at this election. Whatever is decided in Washington and Tallahassee affects me directly. This is why I care and why I'm actively engaged in this election and I would like for other women to do so as well. <clears throat>